My name is Matthew Neese. I am the senior pastor of the Gospel Tabernacle Assembly God Church located in New Boston, Texas. I'd like to take a moment to minister to you just for a little while out of the Gospel of John, chapter 15, and beginning in verse 1. Jesus is speaking, and he's talking about a parable of, the, of a, 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 vine, a vineyard, if you will. And he says this, he says, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away, and every branch that bears fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye except ye abide in me. In verse 5 it says this, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. Now in this parable, it talks about two people, or two branches, two different people. Both of them are in Christ. One has a relationship with Christ, abiding in him, and Christ is abiding in him. So their relationship there is vibrant and it's alive. And, they're bear, and, and that individual, that branch, is bearing fruit. And God is purging it, pruning it, cleaning it, so it grows and matures and produces more fruit, pleasing unto God. The other one is a branch that starts off in Christ but never produces fruit or ceases to produce fruit. And the Lord takes that branch and removes it from the vineyard. Now the point in verse 5 that I want to bring out is that, and I'm going to read it to you again in verse 5. It, he says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same brings forth much fruit. Now listen, this is the key. For without me you can do nothing. Jesus is the source of of doing everything in the kingdom of God. And we know that the cross is the means. The power source is faith. My faith has to be in Jesus Christ and Him crucified for everything. If I'm going to be the pastor that I need to be and bear fruit as a pastor, pleasing unto God, I must abide in Christ. I must have a relationship with Christ. I must trust in Christ to do the work. I simply rest and trust in Christ to bear fruit and the branch that I am. I'm the branch, but the fruit that comes from me is the fruit of Jesus. It is the character of Jesus. It is empowered by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is what flows through the vineyard or the vine, flows into the branch, and the fruit comes out. I can do nothing. If I remove my faith and put it on anything else, to be the pastor that God wants me to be, the minister that God wants me to be, I will surely fail. If I try to be, as a Christian, if I try to be the man of God, the, the husband that my wife needs, without trusting in Christ to do the work, without trusting in Christ to, to transform me, to be that individual, I'm going to fail miserably. If I trust in any means other than Christ and crucified as the... As the the, the source to create me the person that my children need, then I'm going to fail miserably. If I put my faith in anything, if I put my faith in myself, if I put my faith in my intellect, if I put my faith in, in physical talent, I'm going to fail miserably. And the church is failing miserably because they're trying to do everything in the name of God through the flesh rather than through Jesus Christ and crucified. So let me encourage you today to go back and study this parable, but learn to trust in Christ for everything in your life. Christian, the, the, the source is Christ, the means is the cross, 
And the power that it all works by is faith in Jesus Christ and Him crucified. Now, I'm Matthew Neese, the senior pastor of the Gospel Tabernacle located in New Boston, Texas. We want to invite you to services to worship God with us. We have Sunday morning prayer meeting at 9 a.m., Sunday school at 945, church service at 1030. We have prayer meeting at Monday, on Monday night at 6 o'clock and Wednesday night Bible study, youth ministries, children's ministries. We have ministries for uh, uh, the ladies, ministries for the men. But our ministries are not entertainment. It is, the, it is the Word of God empowered by the Holy Ghost. And we invite you to come out and worship with us. God bless you until we meet again.